I'm going to show you this pretty cool and easy card trick that you can use to impress your friends. Here's your card, five of spades. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that card, I'm going to shuffle it into the deck, somewhere random. And now I'm going to shuffle the deck just one more time. This card is back on the top. Alright, I'm going to show you how to do this trick. It's pretty easy and it's pretty good. I uh, get a pretty good reaction whenever I do it. Um, the deck that I'm using is a set by Deck Idea. It's called Constellations. Um, it's a pretty cool set. It's got, you know, the different zodiac signs on it. Um, the sign set is by Deck Idea. It's also got these two um, constellation cards. All right, now onto the trick. So this is our card, right? Let's pick a new one, just for the for the sake of it. And I'll shuffle the deck just for you know to prove that I'm not setting up the deck in it or anything, or you know doing anything to mess with the deck before I make you choose your card. There's nothing going wrong going on with it. Now normally what I do is I have them pick a random card from the middle, doesn't matter what it is, I chose here the Queen of Spades. Um, this deck has the advantage that the face cards are pretty cool looking, so if you can somehow uh, make them choose a face card, that's a pretty good option. Um, that's our card. Uh, for the sake of this trick, I'm going to leave it face up so that we know where it is. Um, and now, the most important part, I'm going to shuffle it back into the deck, but not really. You see what I'm doing here? I take the top card and I put it on the bottom. And then I'm going to shuffle it so that card stays on the bottom. Here, I'll show you that again. Okay. And now, even after I've shuffled it, you can still see that the card that we chose, the Queen of Spades, is still on the bottom there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to shuffle the deck a couple more times just to make it um, more believable. What we're going to do now is we're going to pinch the top and bottom cards so that they stay on the bottom. Um, and then we're going to keep shuffling the deck. Uh, this is called uh, bottom control. It's keeping the bottom card on the bottom. Um, and that's the main part, and we can still see it's on the bottom. And then you can do this as many times as you want, pinching the top and bottom cards to keep them in place. Um, I lost a card here, excuse me. Um, yeah, you can do that as many times as you like. Um, and if you want to make it a little bit more believable, you cannot take just the top and bottom. You can take um, like a middle chunk out and leave the top and bottom, you know, 15 or 20 there in place. Um, but just do it enough times that somebody who's not really paying attention will not be able to tell that it's still on the bottom. Now what you're going to do is bring that card back up to the top. You're going to make sure you grab everything, um, but you're going to pawn the cards in your other hand off onto the top one at a time until your top card's back on the top and now you can say whatever you're gonna say um, like your your card has magically made it made its way back to the top and they flip it over or have them flip it over and look at that it's their card the queen of spades all right let's show those steps again so I'm gonna take the top card the queen of spades make sure I pawn it onto the bottom first and then I just put everything else on top of that, doesn't matter what order it's in, um, and then I'm going to make sure I pinch the top and bottom cards, the top and bottom sections at least, and then shuffle the rest of the deck on top, and then I'm going to repeat this step a couple of times just to make it look like I'm really shuffling these cards into the deck. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that top bottom card back to the top by grabbing the top and then, um, you know, at the end pawning one by one back onto the top. Now, there are some, you know, limitations with this with this uh, trick. You can't have them, you know, cut the deck or, or shuffle the cards or, you know, really mess with the deck in any way. Um, cutting the deck like that would ruin the trick because now your card's somewhere in the middle and you've lost track of it. So it's not really great for that, but, but it is a pretty easy trick to know to just, you know, impress your friends and, um, you know, just show off a little bit. So yeah, that's the trick. Thanks for watching.